I've been told that lucerne would never grow here. Kaikuri and the rye that is already in this paddock have just gone nuts, as well as the lucerne uh, and the millet. It's a much more healthy robust seed. The native grasses, the results are amazing, are incredible. To be seen to be believed. I'm here with David Schubert out of Kulungaluk. He's been told that lucerne would never grow in this particular paddock and it's a bit tired, a bit worn down. This is an eight acre paddock. The whole paddock has been ripped with the, with the yeoman's plough. Then it's all been uh, oversown with uh, millet and lucerne. Then in the, the far end of the paddock down here, uh, was a control section. It had been ploughed, it has been seeded, and then a quick rip and harrowing in of the seed, which happened to the whole paddock. And in this top section here, we have the major carp in emulsion. Six weeks I've been, been trying, I've been told that lucerne would never grow here. Well, was all speak for themselves. As you see, the results are amazing, the native grasses. Um, as well as kaikuri and the rye that is already in this paddock have just gone nuts, as well as the lucerne. So the far corner down there, you can't really find lucerne that much. There isn't any, you have to really struggle to find it. And millet's pretty rare as well. As well, yep. You move over to the other side of the paddock. This side, the control side, there's no trace of lucerne. There are small patches of millet. Yeah, you've got a little bit of millet over here. So that's the paddock there that we were in, the control side. Now we're into part of the paddock where we had the, uh, the overspray applied. Just see a fair bit of uh, millet here coming up. Oh, there's a good bit of loose in there, and uh, as you can, you can probably see there, the rye is that much better. And you've noticed the difference in the, the, the rye growth from here to the other side of the paddock. Definitely. Definitely. There's definitely increase in the, in the seed size. Right. And the, just the plant is more robust. Okay. The seed's healthier. So would you notice the difference from this stuff that we picked, picked before or not? I'd say so. You've got to look. All right, yeah, so this stuff on the right was from the control side with nothing done to the paddock. Yeah, so uh, you can see a big difference there as far as the, the seed growth on the right. Yeah, huge difference. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but on the, the left-hand side of the screen here, it's had a bit of the overspray. But when Dave first applied it, only in first gear on his tractor, and, and this part on the right-hand side got effectively twice as much overspray. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video here, but it's actually a significant difference. There's hard evidence that the more you apply, the more growth you'll get. Could you just want to comment on the rye there? Uh, you'll notice the rye now is up to about my chest, the seed. And once again, the seed is healthier and more robust. This has had the uh, overspray of the carb emulsion. So the rye, which has been in this paddock, was already established. Uh, but it's still, once again, it's much longer, much healthier as we come into more of the product that has been used on the paddock. And you were saying about the, the, the kangaroos? Oh, they love it. They all come to this paddock every night. That's, I mean, that's one of my biggest problems is keeping them off it in time for me to get a decent feed out of it for the cattle. <laughs> loosen, loosen, and more loosen. Dave's are pretty excited about the loosen going to flower over here. You can see as you walk through this paddock, the growth of the grass is just very, very plump and green and strong. We'll show you up the corner of the paddock here in a moment. That's where he's playing around with his equipment and they have got even more overspray again. And you wait till you see this. You can see the rise just full blown. That is just thick, loosened clover, rye, like this paddock has never seen before. Got a bit of millet anywhere, Sherb? Yeah, you can see the millet. And it's just this small area here is where I set up my sprays and spreaders. So it got just that little bit more than anywhere else. And as I see, the results speak for itself. That's by Kiri there. By Kiri. Up to my knees. And what was this like before this particular corner, Dave? Well, it was pretty much the same as the, the rest of the paddock. You know, it was always right. a little bit green. It is the highest part, and it's the entry point to the paddock. Yes. There's nowhere near anything like well, the result you see here now. And then if you go to the control section, you've really got to get down your hands and knees to search to find it. We really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, give us your thumbs up and click the like button below. And I do leave subscribe. Then leave a comment below and let's continue this conversation. But most importantly, share this with other good natured people so they can learn these special insights too.